Hey DJ, what martial arts style should I train? What? I mean, there are tons out there. It's hard to choose. There's some styles that focus on like kicks, some styles that focus on ground fighting. I mean, yeah. And there's even some styles that focus on weapons like from the beginning. And it's really hard to choose which one is the best one to start with. Well, I mean, you can't. You can't? Well, how is someone supposed to figure out what style of martial arts they need to do? Well, if I'm being honest with you, I think you're asking the wrong question. Okay, explain. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the modern ninja. For all you veterans to the channel, you know I try to answer as many of your questions as possible, usually just in comments, but sometimes a question comes around so much that I have to put it in a video. And this is one of those times. I'm really proud to say that a lot of people who have seen my videos have felt inspired to go and join martial arts and train for themselves. And I think that's truly awesome. Awesome. That's kind of the point of this channel as a whole. Well, that and making me the next PewDiePie. So, you know, a 50% success rate is pretty good, right? <laughs> Honestly, it's just truly awesome. But many people seem to think that they need to do a bunch of research into all the different styles of martial arts before they can actually pick one for themselves. Maybe they just want to find the easiest one to learn for beginners or the best one suited for what they want to train, whether that's self-defense or tricking or, or competitions. And sure, you can do that. Maybe you want to focus on self-defense and that is your primary goal. So finding something like artist or prob will totally be your thing. Or maybe you just want to be a part of something with an incredibly long history. So something like Kung Fu is right for you. Or maybe you just want to show off and do some tricks. So doing Taekwondo and specking into XMA is also not a bad option. Literally all that stuff is great. But if I was honest with you, there's one thing that matters way more than literally anything else. What you have access to. Everyone seems to forget about that part when they're looking and doing research into their martial art. Like there are people who will spend a year researching and realizing that they think that Zulu stick fighting is the style for them. And then realize there's nothing that around them that teaches Zulu stick fighting. So all that time they spent is effectively wasted. And some of them won't even consider looking into other art because they were so sold on Zulu stick fighting. Oh man, that's deep. But here's the thing. You don't even know that you like Zulu stick fighting. Like you like the idea of Zulu stick fighting, but you don't know if you'll actually like it in practice. And again, not like you can test that out because for 90% of the population right now, you're not near anybody that teaches Zulu stick fighting. So if you really wanna find out what martial art you should do, it's actually pretty straightforward. And here's how you do it. Step one, jump on Google and take inventory of the schools around you. Or maybe just driving around your town until you find a couple in your area or heck, the yellow pages if you really wanna go old school and then come up with a list of the possible options. Step two, drop a like on this video. No, 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 really, please do that. But the actual step two is see what schools have a trial class. Most schools in America and many other countries have some type of trial or first free lesson in one way or another. So go give all those schools a try. Now maybe you have a preference and you wanna do stand up fighting, so focus on doing those first. Styles like Shotokan Karate or Taekwondo. But make sure to give them all a try. You'll never really know what you truly fall in love with and it turns out you may end up loving grappling or loving Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So just, you know, give it all a try. Step three is the most important step. You have to enjoy the training aspect of the style. It is literally mandatory. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No, we are not. Are we there yet? No. no. Because if you don't truly enjoy the process of learning a style, you really won't last long. You will not make it to your black belt or whatever rank or uh, landmark you're trying to get to. Many people think this is like a video game where you can grind up to the top level and enjoy you know, the game later on. And that's just not how martial arts works. The grind has to be fun. You have to find some joy in it. And that's pretty much it. Maybe you've landed on two or three different schools that you really can't choose behind. Well, I guess 
pick the cheaper one. I don't know, make your decisions. But hopefully with a little bit of luck, the style you ended up with is the style that you will stick with for, you know, the long haul. And you'll train and get better and better and eventually you'll be ready to branch out to a new style later on because that's always a fun thing to do once you get comfortable with martial arts as a whole. Make sure you share this video with someone who is interested in martial arts and interested in getting started because I would really like for this video to help people that need to see it. And if you want to support the channel, check out Patreon. It's in the description down below. I truly do hope this video made things clear for you guys. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about the hardest martial arts style out there. Or this other one that you think you'll love. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.